hi all hope all of you are doing good in today's video i am going to show you how you can set up a newsletter sign up pop up on your shopify store through this pop up you can actually collect the customers data as an e-commerce owner you would definitely know the importance of getting your customers data so we should definitely not lose any chance where we can collect their data a newsletter pop up or asking the customers to sign up for our newsletter when they come into the website showing it as a pop-up is one of the best ways how we can collect the customer data so let us see how we can do that through Shopify forms which is an app created by Shopify which is completely free of charge and free to install and set it up so that is what I'm going to show you in today's video how you can set it up how to install the app how you can show the pop-up in different ways on your Shopify storefront all these things let us cover in this video to install the app go to your Shopify admin panel click on this app section over here and you can type Shopify forms okay and click here search so the Shopify app store it will be redirected to the Shopify app store and here you can see this app called Shopify forms and it is free okay so you can click on that and then you can see that the developer is Shopify which means this is a, a free app from Shopify so you don't have to pay any monthly subscriptions or anything for this installing this app and setting up it and collecting the customers data you can integrate with the Shopify flow or the workflow that is there in Shopify through which you can actually send different emails to these customers etc all these things can be done very easily now so now you can click on install and the app will be installed okay now the app is installed on our store now the next thing that we have to do is you have to click on this button called create form so you can create this form and then they will ask you what is the type of the form that you want whether you want it to be a pop-up or you want it to be an inline form okay so i'm telling i need a pop-up that's what i wanted to show now we can give the uh, name of the form here okay so i'm just telling newsletter now the form is created here we can choose what is the display type of the form that we want whether you need a floating form or you need it as an overlay so let us choose overlay which i think is a better way and also you can choose the overlay color and the opacity you can choose over here now here you can show a teaser kind of thing small you know badge kind of thing or small pop-up over here so when they click on that only then the big pop-up will come if you want you can uh, enable it if you don't want you don't have to enable it okay so this will show uh, if the customer closes the form without subscribing okay you can select how you want it to be sh uh, shown it has to be shown at first before the form so then it will show like this okay and when they click on this the pop-up will come now let us see the next option which is first before the form and the, if the customer closes the form okay and if the customer is closing that form then this will show from uh, of the form without subscribing then also you can show that and then if you don't want to show the teaser you can choose never and the teaser will not be shown so let us just set it up as first before the form so you get to know what is it and now you can choose the position of it on the store so i'm just choosing it as bottom left and we can give the title okay whatever the title we want we can give the title so maybe let us give it as black friday sale okay black friday sale let us give now that is a teaser that we have now let us come into the form which is the real pop-up form that we will be having okay so you when you click over here you can see the preview okay now whatever heading you want you can give let us give sign up okay complete the sign up form the content that you want to show you can uh, show over here so let us give subscribe and get 20 percentage off okay now you can give the uh, content that you want you can give over there now here you can choose what all fields we need to show over here here uh, now we have just shown the first name and email if when you click on add new field for example if you want to get the birthday of the customers also then you can choose a field which is there called birthday or if you want the phone number you can collect the phone number or any custom field you want you can click on this new field button and then create that over here so it will be created as a meta field for on the customer and then uh, you can fetch all those data and set it up for a customer okay so whatever custom fields you want you can add it on the form that is definitely possible now now the label that you want to uh, have over here you can add over here so i'm giving it as subscribe okay and then we can actually give a constant disclaimer over here if you if this is just optional if you don't want to show that you can just delete this content and it will be deleted okay now let us for example add this uh, birthday field also 
so i am just adding the birthday field and the format also you can choose over here how you want date month year so i'm just choosing a date month and year you can actually set whether it is a required field or not here so i am just unchecking that it's not a required field if the customer don't want to enter that he doesn't have to enter that now we can click on save okay now our form is saved and let us see uh, what is the success message that we wants to show over here once they subscribe so here also if you have a discount because we are telling them subscribe and get 20 percentage off so when they subscribe we need to show them a discount coupon code that they can use which is a 20 percentage off discount code so in that case you can actually select the discounts that are already there in your store you can select that okay whatever discount you have you can select that and then click on uh, save so automatically when a customer sign ups the discount coupon code will be shown over here from he where they can copy this code and then add at the checkout when they purchase it okay so whatever is the settings that we have set up for the discount coupon code will automatically be shown here as a content so then uh, if you want to change any of these things we don't want to show the minimum quantity of one uh, use per customer and all to the customer so those things we can delete so let us uh, just choose what is it 10 percentage of the entire order we can choose and we can show it over there next coming to the next section that is the styling part how you want the form to be displayed you can set a background color for the form okay you can set up what so the based on your brand color you can actually set up the uh, background color the text color you can change the accent color you can change button color error field what it will come those things everything that you can change over here and you can also choose what the color of the form feels to be as well okay so here it is white color that's why it's white now if you want it to be transparent means you can choose the form field color to be transparent so it will be shown like this now here you can choose the fonts that you want to show on the pop-up also that can be set up from here itself the heading font and the body fonts you can choose from here okay so let us choose like whatever font we want we can choose the body fonts how we want we can choose that as well so you can play around these and then choose the font for your pop-up form next what the main thing coming is whether we need to add an image or we don't want an image so here you can choose where if you want to have a left side image for the pop-up or the image you can add it on the right or you can choose a background image okay so let us just choose image left and then here we can actually choose the uh, image what we want to add so let me just choose this image so i have this uh, image coming over here now uh, we can choose how the scale has to be it has to be uh, fill or it has to be fit like this okay so i'm just choosing it to be fill so that i want it to be uh, filled over that container there okay and then next what we can so here let us see this option also how it will be like if it is on the right it will be like this now if it is like a background image also like that also you can set uh, this doesn't suit as a background image but if you want to have a background image then uh, you can add that and and uh, set that as well okay so i'm just setting it up the image on the right side and the form on the left side like this now uh, coming to the behavior part we can set how it has to behave the on different devices okay so let us set a uh, desktop and then in desktop let us uh, choose how where all it has to be shown only on specific page types only if you want to show those things all we can set up in mobile if you want to set up specific things you can set up like that as well now i am choosing all devices okay it will be shown on both desktop and mobile will be shown and then how the trigger has to be okay first page view or second page view or third page view how it has to and after waiting for how many seconds it has to show those things we can set up so let me choose it as after waiting for uh, two seconds only the customer has the pop-up has to come so that is when you want to set up this waiting time of the pop-up to display on your store now after saving the form uh, here you can see two more options which is called tags and automations and workflow so once this form is submitted if you want to uh, add any particular tag to that particular customer okay uh, who have submitted this form then you can add those customer tags over here also we can integrate this with the automations and workflow so once a customer subscribes through this pop-up we can actually set up in the workflows uh, that once it's a subscribe send this type of email through the shopify emails you can send those emails welcoming the subscriber or uh, sending a kind of introductory email or something those things we can 
can set up from the workflows so we have a video explaining in detail about the workflows you can actually uh, check those things out so this is how the uh, form is set up so once this is set up the next thing uh, that we need to do is it will not automatically show on the website now now what you have to do is you have to go to online store okay you have to go to online store and you have to click on customize now here you need to click on app embeds okay and now you can see the forms app embed over here you need to actually enable this okay you can click on this toggle button so it will be enabled only then form will be uh, shown on the website okay now let me preview it and show see this is the teaser that i told you this is a teaser that will be coming we will just go to the apps and then we will just see once again this one okay this teaser is the one that is be showing over there okay so this is a title that we uh, gave 10 percentage off so if we uh, change the uh, title to anything grab the offer so that will be the teaser text will automatically change over here okay so the teaser text have come there now when we click on this teaser text the pop-up will come the pop-up that we have created will automatically be coming now so the same way how we added the form how we have the image on the right side all these things are coming now okay and then you can give your name then your email then your date of birth and when you click on subscribe here you will see the success message here is your discount the welcome and discount code they will get as a success message they can just copy this and then do the purchase and then they will be getting a 10 percentage discount coupon code okay so this is how the shopify forms is working please try to install the shopify forms and then in the customer segmentations you can segment them so once they sign up for the newsletter you can actually trigger an email so those things we can easily do using the uh, shopify uh, workflows through those you can do if you have any questions regarding this please do ask us in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a like if you like the video thanks for watching